Hello there and welcome to this tutorial in which we will see how we can merge multiple PDF files into one. In the folder that I have, as you can see, I have currently two files, the Pygame documentation and the Soccernomics book, both PDF files. Um, and I will use them in my first example to merge them into one file. And the second example would be um, mainly if you have a lot of PDF files into one folder and you would like to merge them all. Well, there is one way that you can do that and it's fairly easy. So two simple examples should not take more than probably like five, six minutes. So let's get started. From PyPDF2, we're going to import PDF file merger. Now this PDF file merger is a class that we can use to append all of our files. So merger would be equal to PDF file merger. What we need in order to merge the files is of course our files. So let's create a list PDFs in which we're going to specify all the files that we have. Now, as you can see, I have Pygame, which is all lowercase letters and I have Soccernomics, which has capital S. Now keep in mind that this has to be correctly specified in our list. So Pygame.pdf and Soccernomics.pdf. I, I left them on purpose, so I get reminded to, to mention this as, as if you have lowercase here, it would not be recognized. So what is the next step? We know the files that we would like to merge. And if you have two files to merge, this is probably the easiest way. Just specify uh, the file names. Of course, in, uh, in this case, make sure that your Python file is in the same directory as, as the PDF file. Otherwise, this would not be possible. It would just return an error as it cannot find the files in the same directory. So for every PDF that we have in our PDFs list, what we can do is merger.append PDF. Simple as that, we would add this file to our empty uh, merger class. And once we are done, merger.write, we can write off this, write out this file into uh, one that, that is just a combination of both files. So let's uh, save this as merger or merged files, merge.pdf. That should be fine. And at the end, make sure to close the merger. So you see in a less than 10 lines of code, you have these files merged into one. So let's take a look at the number of pages. So Soccernomics has 336. This Pygame documentation has 98. So the merged ones 434. So that is indeed correct. And as we can see, it starts with Pygame. And then later on we have um, Soccernomics. And the reason why they were merged that way is because we've specified them in that order. If you want to have them merge the other way around, then specify them the other way around. Now that would have been our first example. The second one is what if we want to have all the files in our folder? Now, in this case, we would have three files. So let's take a look into that. One way is to import OS, and this is the one that we will cover. Um, what this allows us to do is to kind of uh, reach a given folder and then we can get all the files from that folder. Of course, then we can filter out based on this last part .pdf to only extract the PDF files. So our target folder would be this one. So this is where I have all the files. Of course, keep in mind that this is a canceling character. So I need to have that one twice in, in order to get to the correct folder. Our PDFs list would start as an empty one. Instead, we, were, we will take a look into this target folder and identify these PDF files. So for every file in OS dot list dir target folder and you can of course have this directly here but this is probably a bit of a better way to to take a look at it as as it stands out clear and you can modify it you don't have to spend that much time revising if you later on take a look into this uh, script this is a bit more descriptive um so for every file that we have if file dot ends with dot pdf then what we would like to do is pdfs dot append file of course this list needs to exist already so i'll put it up here so we have an empty list we have our target folder oh this is maybe best to have all the way at the top 
So for every file that we have in this directory, if the file ends with .pdf, append it to our PDFs list. Um, at this point, I would like to give a shout out to Dimitras Stojanovski Dima, who is a colleague of mine and a friend as well. Um, and he taught me that actually, although this would work, there is actually one thing that can go wrong. And that is sometimes some files are saved as .pdf with capital letter. And if I am to run this, to run this code this way, those files would not be included. And of course, um, if you're using this for a long time, you, at one point you will figure out why there are that, not that many pages. But in order to avoid a mistake, you can always have file.lower.endsWidth. So what this part does is regardless of the file name, it converts the entire name into lowercase letters and then it checks if it ends with .pdf. So in this case, there is no way to miss a file in a given folder. Now, once this part is done, of course, uh, it's always good to have additional comments. So you can add here, um, find all PDF files in a folder. Oops, that should be O folder. This should be, uh, although it's self-explanatory, but you can add additional comments if you think that's necessary. And this would be the part uh, where uh, PDFs are merged. And the last part would be output as a PDF file let's say merged PDF file. And this is also something that you might want to have outside of, of, of the code. So maybe up here, you would like to have uh, the output file name that can be easily modified. Now, if we are to run this, what happens is the first part is we get all the files that end with PDF, then the PDFs are being merged. So we run through all the PDFs in our PDFs list, which by that time will be populated. And then we would write it out as a um, PDF file. In this case, let's have merged to .pdf. And again, make sure to close it at the end. So a bit more code in it, but of course it's worth it, especially if, there is, if it's a long list. So now let's make sure that this is correct. So the merged file had 434. So we would expect twice the amount of pages in the merge to 868. So that means that we've done a good job um, and I hope this has been useful. I think the next part of this tutorial series would be related to rotating uh, PDFs as I've seen that uh, that is sometimes useful to know. And thank you as always for following this tutorial until the end. See you in the next one.